I, I, this, just like one hospital in the United States, like Children's is not representative of all hospitals in the United States. Totally. The same goes for the hospital that I was at, where um, I, when I sat down in a wheelchair that was sitting in the parking lot, um, there was a scalpel that had been embedded into the side of the chair. And I'd sliced open my hand as I got into out of the, the chair. Into, yeah. yeah, into the armrest. Um, and it sliced open my hand as I had gotten out of the chair into the bed in the emergency room. So there was just a whole plethora of issues that I needed to get solved, which even through the chaos and a language barrier and everything else, I was still able to come out of it in almost sometimes I, I would think a better a position than if I were in a hospital in the United States. The amount of money that they spent putting into that room alone, which once again is absolutely worth it for the kids who are using it, but the money that they had accessible to be able to build a room like that in Israel per se would have been used to treat 45 people like threatening um, um, symptoms. So right yeah. now full, Very, full disclosure because your mom's going to listen to this. Um, go for it. Uh, you know, I think a lot of the reasons is that you received the level of care you did is that you have two parents who are both in the medical field with yes. a lot of experience advocating on your behalf. Um, and it's actually one of the things that I often, um, it's one of the reasons that I love being a health advocate is that I appreciate um, what we've been able to offer you guys. Um, and actually, I feel bad for anybody who doesn't have somebody who is a strong advocate for them, because everybody needs a strong advocate in healthcare. Everybody, and but that could be a family. Uh, I think a great example of me being an advocate for somebody is when my girlfriend we had gone to um, Kaiser Permanente for a um, just to go in. We went to the emergency room or went to urgent care. It was the emergency room, and she was very worried about something. It was exactly the type of situation where you wanted to go to an urgent care just to figure out what was going on. And I had to stand up for her in front of the doctor because he was basically pushing everything that she didn't know what it was. And she was kind of going, okay, okay, yes, yes, because, well, she didn't know. I mean, he was saying, you should take this medication after this medication, and then you should come back at this point, so then you can get this medication. But he never explained what they were or what they did. He just said, this will help. And um, I had to stand up and I had to say, well, why is she taking that? Can you explain what her other options are? And I had to ask those questions for her. And I don't think that if I was there, she would have left with the same understanding understand. as if I was Yeah. There. And to be fair, um, you know, a lot of times too, one of the reasons that medical practitioners, whether it's doctors or nurses, um, don't necessarily explain is everybody feels hurried. And our system is a business. And so it is frankly all about in and out, in and out, yes. getting people done. So it is the um, exception when you have a, um, a medical practitioner who is forward about willing to take the time to explain things to you. Um, you don't really think anything could go wrong until it does. It was uh, actually pretty influential, the fact that it happened to you the way that it did. Um, where it gave a good amount of distrust in me in the ability of everyone who is trying to do well in the healthcare system. And that's not to say that anybody's malicious, but mistakes happen. Um, right. And people don't always listen. I think more than anything, I think people in the, in the younger generation, um, and even in my generation, I just wish that they were. I know that they weren't, but I wish that they were. Um, we're more informed on how to be self-advocates um, in life, you know, um, and you can't expect everyone to do that. Not everyone can step up on a whim to do things that will not only help themselves, but help other people. You can't expect that out of anyone, but it, knowledge is power. And if you don't have the knowledge about a lot of this stuff, you know, you're not going to know what to do when you need to. And for, I think for people my age, people shouldn't be ashamed of their lack of knowledge. And that's a really big thing that I've noticed a lot is that a lot of people who are around my age will, will just refuse to do certain things because they don't understand. 
And that can be really tough because it could be a life-threatening situation in which because you don't understand what it is, it goes against what you believe in or things like that. You refuse to get your help.